G'day everyone, welcome back to the channel. Guess where I am? Yep, back down the beach. Now, I'm at the same beach that I was at in the last video. Uh, the tide is a little bit higher than I'd like. I think low tide's in about two hours time. So what I'm gonna do is get on the beach in the same location, but I'm gonna walk north this time and just try out the sand that's been sort of slowly eroded away after the last, you know, six months, whatever. There's not real uh, strong cuts there, but I know the sand has dropped up quite a lot, so we'll get in there. We know last time we found a, a shilling and a threepence, I think. Um, so hopefully walking north, I have I think there might be a few more things north. However, the water is qu quite up quite a lot. It's probably a friggin' king tide, it looks like. Anyway, I thought it would be a little bit lower. But let's get on the beach, plus it's also pretty windy too, and the water's very messy. Anyway, let's get on the beach and have a look. Righty out. Here we have it. Same beach, but this time, I'm not going that way, I'm gonna go this way. As you can see, the water's up pretty high still. But it should be going out. Anyway, take me an hour. I'll go up that way an hour, and then I'll come back on the lower part. So, it should be right. Oh, shit. Get this. Anyway, I'll see you on the first target. All right. It's been a bit quiet, but I did find a signal, and I got this. Now, to me, I don't know if that's a projectile from a bullet. like it feels like it's pretty heavy it rang up 13 on the, on the equinox now looks like a projectile but anyway so that's interesting i scraped all the green off it so there you go i don't know right yeah next target i had down here is ringing up a 17 18 but it looks like it's just a bit of a bit of metal a bit of lead i don't know signal I got down here 26 27 let's see what that is oh shit we got it okay it's in the plug is it a coin or is it something else a bit of rubbish coins are here and I don't have much beach to play with but hopefully on the way back the, the water would have gone dropped down a, a little bit and I'll sort of hit the, hit the wet sand a bit more on the way back. Anyway there you go, nice uh, two, well, two cent coin anyway. Yeah, the next signal I got was right here, I don't know if you can see it down there but it's just sitting on top, right here, two dollar coin. Looks pretty, uh, uh, it's alright. Gee, the head side looks a bit worn. Anyway, nice little sunbaker. Alright guys, next signal I had down here was number 16. And I just found it. Just flicked it out, it's a 20 cent piece. Pretty old. So I'm coming up now to this section, pretty much from here to that last shed up there. This is where I found a ring once before in a, in a cut. There was an actual cut, probably two foot, maybe one foot, two foot. And I did find a gold ring in that, which I still have. Don't know who's 
It's got no name on it, but it's got a date, 1976. <laughs> so, anyway, there is a fair bit of sand that has been moved at the moment, so I'm hoping I can get to some deeper targets if there's any here. Anyway, 20 cents. Oh yeah, that cleaned off all right. Um, I can't see a date on it. Check it out at home. All right, so I had another signal down here. Uh, 21, 22, and I just flipped it out, just found it. Another $2 coin. So the coins are here. You just gotta be patient, I suppose. Fine, it looks like there's a bit of a cloud coming in. There goes a nice sunny day, anyway. Moving on. Okay, guys. Well, we've got a bit of rain coming in, so I better hurry up. I'm pretty much at the boat shed anyway, so. Anyway, I had a signal down here. Now, I only just heard it, real faint, and then I couldn't, so I started digging. And uh, about six big digs. And I actually got it. Now, it's apparently it's in this lump down here. Now, it's pretty high tone. I'll actually scan it again and show you before the water gets it. Anyway, 21, 22, sounds like a gold coin, so let's see if we can get it before the water gets it. Here it is right here, it might be a big, oh yeah, it is actually, it's a big sinker. I don't usually ring up with that tone, but anyway, big bit of lead. There you go. Might be made of gold. It's pretty heavy. Anyway, so I'm almost at the spot now where I'm going to turn around and head back. Haven't had many targets, not as many as I thought. And most of them haven't been that good anyway, so we'll see how we go for another 20 metres and then uh, we'll head back. Rightio, guys. Well, unfortunately, not as many targets as I would have hoped heading north on this beach um, we didn't really find any old coins Except a couple of little little current currency coins have just been there a while but I'm walking back to the car now we'll get back to the car have a look to check out what I found right yeah guys so not a great deal out of this hunt but we did get some bottle caps some old bottle caps and rubbish pull tabs a little bit of metal um, another another little bit of uh, harder metal. I'm not sure. Just broken off something. Yeah, I did find this on top of the sand. I think it's a lipstick. Lipstick cover. And we've got a big sinker. That rang up good. 21, 22. Nice gold coin tone. Now we found this. Uh, I think that's a... It looks like a projectile from a bullet. I don't know. If you guys reckon it is, let me know in the comments. Let me know. It looks like a projectile to me, but I don't know. It's pretty big. Anyway, we'll see, uh, see what that is. It's got some stripes on it. I don't know. Anyway, I picked up that. That was just sitting on top of the sand. Get rid of it. So we got a couple of $2 coins and a $0.20 cent coin. And we did find a $0.02 cent piece, which is older, older currency, no longer used in Australia. So that, that is one old coin that we did find up that way. Anyway guys, thanks for coming on this little treasure hunt. Only a quick one. I thought I'd just duck down here to that same beach and try the northern side of it. Or head north of it. Um, not as much luck as I thought. Um, but the sand has been gouged out quite a lot. So they have lost a lot of sand out of here. Obviously not many targets in there to begin with. Anyway guys, if you liked the video, give it a like. And uh, if you're new and you want to want to come on more treasure hunts, subscribe and turn your notifications on so you know when I upload new videos. Going to be doing some paranormal stuff in the very near future. I know I keep saying it, but I just haven't had time to organise with my mate, Paul. Just haven't had the time, the days to organise with him. Anyway, we'll get on to that very soon. I'm Chris, Indoors Outdoors with Edgy. See you on the next hunt.